Okay, so this is going to be my cooking show, and today we're going to be making garlic salted bell peppers. So, I already have it cut in half, and we got to make the insides come out. So, when doing this, we are going to cut out the inside like this. Um, make sure there are no more seeds. And then we have another one to do. <sighs> All right. So after you get the insides cut out, then you can go wash it out. So we're going to go to the sink and then we're going to wash out the bell peppers. Make sure all the seeds come out of the bell pepper. And then we can go back over to here. I'm not to get my iPad too wet. I don't know. These apple things really do the trick whenever they get underwater. They must the time to work. Obviously, because an apple couldn't get wet. No, 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 I'm just joking. But if y'all are going to get a type of phone, I would recommend buy iPhones. So that Apple, for any type of tablet, computer system, or anything, I would recommend Apple. They make some good stuff. So, yeah. No, that's not because I'm doing a cooking show. That's really just my opinion. And yes, I am recording with an iPad. Um, the other things that I don't like, see on Apple phones, um, you know, it's actually like better to, it, it has a better camera. You can also stand it up on tripods. And that means you can do more higher um, things like whenever you're standing it up on a tripod. So after your bell pepper looks like this, now we can, um, Cut both sides off. And then you'll just get this inner piece. And instead of me throwing this away, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna plant it out in my garden. What I like to do with these vegetables is instead of wasting them, whenever they could be used, but I don't like using them because it doesn't make my food have a perfection in it. I bury the vegetables. And then just do the same thing on the other side. Oh yeah, I forgot to cut the insides off on this one. Oh wait, forgot. Okay. Make sure to cut off all the salvageable pieces that you have though. You shouldn't let these things go to waste of inflation um, we could lose all our vegetables and we do not want that so make sure you plant these things if it has some seeds in it that's a good thing because then you can actually salvage the seeds inside of them and grow the things but don't grow them right now you need to grow them when if well if this happens if the emergency happens. So save up the seeds that way if an emergency does happen, you can plant them and have a garden. Everything, every price is going up. <clears throat> That's the reason lately I've only gotten smoke alarms because the prices on fire alarms, you just cannot find a good price. Also, smoke alarms I can test. I can do more things with smoke alarms, but I need to practice with fire alarms. That way, whenever I do get fire alarms, I can actually wire them up to a police station and test them. Without it being a big deal, like me asking my dad to check it and him waiting for work. Because he now trusts me um, to do smoke alarms and exit signs without checking them out. And that's what I do now. So, yeah. Nose is itchy.
put all your pieces in the middle. See, these pieces are good to go. But you line all of these up. These long ones. The short ones are good to go. These long ones need to go into a pile. And then you cut them. I'm very good at cooking. But here I like to make the best eggs you can try. And there were hot sauce, onions, garlic salt, pepper, um, Cheese, obviously eggs. And if you're doing that, I recommend Alejandro's hot sauce. Alejandro's hot sauce, yeah, it's a little bit spicy. Well, it's pretty spicy hot sauce, but it is it has a really good flavor in it. That's the type of hot sauce that I love. So whenever I go to restaurants, I don't really like on the borders hot sauce or um or Nelia's hot sauce, or their chips. Alejandro's chips and hot sauce are just the best. Because Alejandro's actually is like really good. Well, on um, Amelia's chips are great. I have to say that. Next, you're gonna get your garlic salt. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. And then you're gonna sprinkle it all over the bell peppers. Mix it up a little bit. And then do another round of it. And then test to make sure there's plenty of salt on it. And then you're done. So you need it. Mmm. Guys, try this at home. It is a very simple and delicious snack that you can make. Mmm. Mmm. And yeah. That is how to make a really delicious meal. Please great comment, like, and subscribe. And have a brilliant day. And remember, guys, try this at home. It is great and simple. So, yeah. Bye, everybody.